Alright, today is like the 21st or something, uh, May. And I'm down here just trolling my normal beach here where I've always been. And look at this. I have not touched it, but I'm not sure what it is. But that looks like something. Look at the work. It's got to be a huge blade or something. Oh. Whoa. Man, that is a heartbreaker. Oh, man. Look at that thing. Huge blade or a scraper. Oh, my gosh. I mean, I have just been down here for like a minute. Man, that thing is just beautiful. Man, that's a heartbreaker. Oh, my gosh. I mean, that is definitely a piece. I mean, look at the, the, the working. Man, that thing is thick. I mean, I, I don't know. It's definitely have to keep my eye open here. Wow. All right. This is all, all tough. Just eyeballing today. I can't believe that. I'm going to have to really sharpen the eyes. Maybe the other piece or something might be laying around here. Oh. Alright, see what else we can poke with the eyeball here in the lucky stick. A little find here. Little glass button. There we go. I think this is a, a blank here. Definitely looks like it's uh, been working on that edge. Alright, put that in the pocket. There we go. I'll see that every day. Here, snakey, snakey. Pretty good size one. Alright, we're back in the, an older town, and this is the first signal I have dug. Nice little uh, pin of some sort. Alright, that was kind of an off signal, so I dug it. Bouncing between uh, 28 and 32 there on the safari, so. Alright. All tough. This is a really old park. This is uh, down the street from my uh, where I was the other week getting the seeded. And look at this. I think we have a quarter or something down here. Yes, we do. Silver Washington. Six. All right. So it had to be some iron in the hole because she was only hitting pretty good one way. So, all right, it's all tough. We'll just give this in a rub. It's no big deal. All right. See you up next. In a couple minutes. I'm cutting the plug and it fell right out onto the shovel here from the side. Looks to be a buffalo nickel. Probably a dateless variety. All right, good start. Ooh, little teeny tiny button. All right, I just seen this piece here. All right, All right, I seen the stone here. And I picked it up and I dropped it. Alright. Nice little, uh, looks like a little tailpiece or something here. Well, I dropped it. I went to pick it up and look. I 
That is definitely an arrowhead. It's crude and it's ugly, but man. That is just just gorgeous. Gorgeous little guy. All right, let's see what else we can spot. Man, look at that. All right. Big guy, he has some muscles. That's a whopper. I bet she's a good 10, 12 pounder probably. There you go. All right. I'll be able to get some still shots out of that. That is a big catfish. Nice. Boy, he's got my thumb bleeding too. Yeah, I know. The last one I caught, he's about that same length. Woo. Yeah, but the gut. You got the gut. video on going there? Yeah, the gut on his ass. He's got a gut. Holy shit. Alright, that was cool. Nice. That makes it easy. Alright, here's the wrap up. The, the usual square nails and round nails and a couple lighters and porcelain knob, a little bit of iron in there, bottle caps, yada yada, a couple quarters, some dimes, nickel pennies, um, got the uh, no date uh, buffalo, it's got d mint mark on there, got the uh, Six. No mint mark. So I'm happy to have that. It's got like a little dot in the six there, like it's been punched maybe. I really can't see that. I don't know. It's hard to make out. Um, got the three Weedies. You got the uh, 1909 Plane, 1910, 1917. Got the um, little pin back here. Which is a pretty cool find. Uh, wasn't sure what this was. I cleaned it up. And it says hinted pin B. And I'm thinking uh, it's Barber maybe. I'm thinking this is like a miniature comb. Like an advertising piece. On the back it says something Colfax Avenue something Minnesota. So I'm not 100% sure what that is, but it's either Hennepin Barber or Hennepin Bank. I'm not sure, but I swear it's like a little comb. And a little glass button. A couple flakes. Uh, there's the, the heartbreaker. And that would have been a massive piece. Fossil and a blank right here. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Um, what could be a little tailpiece. Um, this did come out of uh, a high use area. A lot of Indian artifacts out of this spot. And, and here's this red one. The bud says nay, and I say yay. I mean, it looks good to me. I mean, it's definitely uh, pretty natural ish on this side. 
but I don't know. We'll take some uh, some opinions on that if anybody uh, has a little more insight on if that's just natural or not. Looks like it's got some, some flaking on the tail and stuff there too. So, all right, it's been all tough. Hope everybody enjoyed, and uh, we'll catch everybody on the next hunt. All right, till next time.